The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Then they came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, good morning. A few years back, I remember before we go for the morning assembly in the school in which I was working as an administrator, and right after the Mass, when we would take a quick breakfast, we would switch on the TV to catch the early morning news. And it would be one of those TV giant stations that we would follow. But what was so interesting was that portion of the news, I could announce the station later. Kasi nakakatuwa po, when you see this woman standing in a profile position, tapos she has her ponytail hanging, on the right side of her shoulder. And she would talk about the horoscope. She would say what to do following your star. If you were born as a Pisces or as a Cancer, or as an Aries or as a Taurus, this is what you are to do. This is what you are not to do today. And then she would even say, lucky color for today, lucky number. Ito na yung punchline. We wait for this. She delivers these lines. And she would introduce herself. Ito po si Sinai the Seven nagsasabing, hindi hawak ng mga bitubin ang ating kapalaran. Gabay lamang sila. Meron tayong free will. Sundin natin ito. Magbabalik po ang umagang kay ganda. You know, we follow those lines. And we were never mistaken. Kasi kabisado na po namin. But you know what's interesting is a kind of a, a contradiction somewhere. If you sense that kind of contradiction. After giving us what to do or what not to do. After telling us what's the color, lucky color, lucky number for today. Biglang may disclaimer. Hindi hawak ng mga bitiwin ng ating kapalaran. Gabay lamang sila. Meron tayong free will. Yun ang sundin natin. So what was that all about? We just have to follow our free will and that's it. But you know, this is the popular belief that people like this would be called prophets. Propeta. Ano nga ba ang propeta? A prophet is one who can foretell the future before they happen. A prophet is one who is able to see beyond and tell us what's going to happen. And the uh, intensity or degree of the prophet or the prophecy depends on the fulfillment of the prophetic word. You know, this is so far, far out from the biblical prophecy, from the prophets of the Old Testament. The prophets of the Old Testament are not manguhulan. 
That's the popular belief. Kapag meron kang predictions, then you are a prophet. A prophet in the biblical times is not one who predicts, but one who pronounces. Hindi siya yung nanguhula, siya yung nagpapahayag. And we get to see that in the first reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses speaks about this. A prophet is one who is raised up by God from the people. I give you four letter C's to know what a prophet is. A prophet is one called by God. He did not assume that position. He did not claim that position. He was called by God. Two, a prophet is chosen by God. Diba meron tayong naririnig na many are called, but we are chosen. Alright, the prophet is one who is called and chosen. Now here's the third word. A prophet is one who is consecrated. Would you say the word again? What does that mean? You get the word there, sacra. Sacra means sacred. Consecrated is not only made holy. Consecrated means set apart for one particular mission. Itinalaga. Separate from all the rest. Focused on just one thing. And here's the fourth letter C. Commissioned. A prophet is one who is sent. You got the four letter C's? Meron kayong one for cheetah paper? Check that then. Alright. Four letter C's again. What a prophet is. A prophet is a man who is called. Very good. Two. Very good. Chosen. Three. Consecrated. And four. Wow. Very good. I'm so amazed. All four. That's what a prophet is. And if ever a prophet would be able to foretell the future, Bonus na yun. A prophet proclaims more than predicts. Listen to how a prophet begins his pronouncement. Thus says the Lord. What does that mean? What you're going to hear is not coming from me. These are not my words. I am simply a messenger. I am simply a bearer. I'm simply a proclaimer. Listen to how our liturgists, liturgy of the word ministers, would end the reading. What do they say? The word of the Lord. And we say, thanks be to God. We have just listened, not just to a minister, we have listened to, to God. A minister, a prophet, is one who proclaims the word of God. In the gospel, we get to see a prophet. No, not just one of the prophets. He is actually the greatest of all prophets. No less than Jesus himself, who is way, way beyond all the prophets of the Old Testament. And here we get to see a different kind of prophet. Listen to what the people who heard him say. This is a completely new kind of teaching. What makes Jesus special? What makes him important? What makes him so different? Because he, Jesus, taught with authority. He taught with authority. What does that mean? Jesus does not begin his pronouncement or proclamation with, Thus says the Lord. How does he say it? You have heard it said in the Old Testament, but I tell you, I tell you, this is my word. Why so? Because when you go to Matthew 28 verse 18, just before Jesus ascends to his Father, when he commissions his disciples, what does he say? All authority has been given to me by my Father. All authority in heaven or on earth has been given to me. This is the teacher with authority. And he has the power not just to change the lives of his listeners. He has the power to expel demons. We got to see that. The man with an unclean spirit was just liberated from that unclean spirit because of the power and the authority of Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the Lord that we follow. This is the Jesus that we believe in as the Son of God. Do you believe? Please say yes. Do you believe that Jesus has power to change a life? Do you believe that He can change your life? 
Do you believe that Jesus can put a direction in a life that is so awry and has gone astray? Do you believe that Jesus can make a difference in your life? Do you believe that Jesus can heal you and make you whole again? And what are we doing about this? We have to proclaim this. We have to be modern day prophets. No, not manguhula. But those who proclaim the good news, the good news that Jesus loves us unconditionally, that Jesus is ready to forgive us even before we are ready to ask for forgiveness. The good news that Jesus can make a difference in our lives. This is something that we can proclaim. This is something that we can share with others. And in that way, we also become prophets. Yes, we are all called. God calls us to do that. We are chosen. We are consecrated by virtue of the sacrament we have received. What is that sacrament? The first sacrament? Baptism. And fourth, we are commissioned. God sends us to proclaim the good news. After Jesus says, all authority has been given to me by my Father. What does he say? And so I tell you, go. Go to all the nations. Preach. Teach the good news. Baptize. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are prophets. We have to do our role in our postmodern times. We are to proclaim the good news. Naalala nyo, way back in 1995, when our beloved Pope, who is now a saint, came over for the second time. On the occasion of the World Youth Day, there was a beautiful theme song. Even if you were not there, you still recall because you've been hearing this theme song. And the song tells us what we are supposed to do. What is that correct? Ang ganda, di ba? Ano sabi ng song? Tell the world of His love. Tell the world of God's love. Tell the world of His power to change a life. Tell the world of His authority to expel demons. Tell the world of the power of Jesus to heal and make us whole again. We would have to do that now. And that means to say, after this wonderful Eucharistic celebration, we can do so much. We have something that the biblical prophets didn't have. Social media. You know, if Paul were alive today, naku, ang saya niya siguro. Meron na siyang iba-ibang klaseng accounts. Facebook account, pang matanda po yan. <laughs> you know, pang St. Paul, sige. Twitter account, and every other social media that we can have in order to tell the world of His love. Paul would be doing that. We can also be doing that. We can start today. Would you join me in prayer, please? Dearest Lord, I thank you for having called, chosen, consecrated, and commissioned me. Now I understand I am also meant to be a prophet, to proclaim the good news, to tell the people I encounter every day that you love them unconditionally. That your love can change a life and set direction to it. That you can heal us and make us whole again. Lord, help me always to remember this and to put it in action starting today. Give me the grace of an enlightened mind and a purified heart to do it with passion. I make this prayer in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>